So the meaning of emotional intelligence is pretty simple. Um, it, it means to be able to first identify your own emotions, right? So you can pinpoint what you're feeling in the moment um, and, uh, and really source it in a way. You know, I had someone, for example, mention yesterday during a class that she struggles with anger and how to control anger. And so, you know, the discussion that followed was me explaining to her that anger is really a secondary emotion and there's usually an underlying emotion. So this is what we mean by being able to identify our emotions and really source them. Like, where is this coming from? Why am I triggered? Right. Because there usually is a lot of different reasons, but we're just if we don't do that process, then we are not able to identify those things. And then we get frustrated and, and a lot of miscommunication can happen. So to identify and then manage one's emotions. So it's one thing to know, right, what you're feeling and thinking and why it's happening. It's another thing to be able to control, to practice restraint or what we refer to as IFA, right, temperance, to be able to just regulate yourself. That's a whole other thing. And it's, it's in a very powerful uh, you know, uh, skill to have. It can prevent a lot of harm. So identifying, managing one's own emotions, and then doing the same thing for other people. So this is the most simple definition of what emotional intelligence offers someone. And it is quite um, powerful, even though the meanings are simple, the actual implementation of it and, um, and the benefit of it are